one of the big sleeper issues of the 2012 election has been the push by Republicans to try to restrict the vote since the 2010 election, and particularly restrict the Democratic-leaning pro-Obama vote. We've seen just a slew of new voting restrictions, uh, whether uh, that's making it harder to register to vote, uh, cutting back on early voting, uh, passing uh, voter ID laws, disenfranchising ex-felons. Uh, this is something the totality of which is designed uh, to make it harder for Obama voters to be able to vote in 2012. And, and we've seen this happen in state after state after state, a really unprecedented push by Republicans to, to restrict uh, the right to vote. I, I think there was a pocket of Republican voters that never believed that Obama was legitimately elected uh, in the first place. They believe with no proof that Acorn stole the election uh, for Obama. So I think there's a part of the Republican base that in good faith believes that voter fraud was responsible for Obama's election. I think there's a, a much larger spectrum of the Republican base, particularly Republican office holders, who view this as a very good way to depress Democratic turnout. And they think that uh, they can use voter fraud as a rationale to then pass these new restrictive voting laws. Uh, and then if they keep talking about voter fraud uh, as, as much as possible, they can then justify passing even more of these laws uh, in the future. So it really is the rationale they use to try to rig the electoral system to their benefit. I think if you look at the facts, voter fraud is exceedingly rare in American elections. And the type of voter fraud uh, that would be stopped by voter ID laws, which is in-person uh, voter impersonation, is incredibly rare. There was a huge investigation by the Bush Justice Department from 2002 to 2007. They didn't prosecute one single case of in-person voter impersonation. There was no evidence of the type of fraud that voter ID laws would stop from Bush's own Justice Department. And then you look uh, more nationally, I mean, you're, you're 39 times more likely to be hit by lightning uh, than you are to impersonate another uh, voter at the polls. And so I think what's happened here is a handful of cases, a handful of bad actors has been used as an excuse to really disenfranchise potentially millions and millions and millions of Americans. It's starting to become a much bigger issue now. We're starting to see a lot of court battles. We're starting to see a lot of coverage uh, in the media. But certainly since the 2010 election, Republicans have had a major leg up in terms of trying to shape an electorate in their own favor before anyone has even voted by essentially passing laws to determine who can vote and, and who can't vote. Uh, and, and that's something we haven't really seen in American politics since the Jim Crow era, and it's a very alarming development right now.